we had a surface water issue where we were getting a lot of algae or big pieces of matter that we couldn't get out and we're plugging up our filter systems. So what we did is we installed two large screen filters to try and block some of the bigger pieces of algae as well as some of the bigger pieces of organic matter. Uh, we then go into our sand media filters. That still didn't quite clear it up, so we added a gravity filter. We were still getting some very fine material coming through here that was plugging up our sand media filters. So we added the epiphany filters here. We noticed right away that we were able to flush multiple times without having that issue of plugging up. So it's better quality into the field. We're not wasting any water. Um, basically just getting the cleanest system we can so that way we're efficient with energy usage and all of that good stuff. I have extensive experience in, in irrigation going back to when I first saw my first drip system in 1971. Right now we, we provide pump protection which is like self-cleaning suction strainers. Uh, the one that's probably the most important is, this, is the low pressure differential strainer that is very, very low energy. We have flow control devices that we can put on the suction side of the pump or on the discharge to allow the pump to operate at its design efficiencies without cavitation or uneven loading. And then we have solid separation technology that provides down to half micron removal it takes like 66% of five micron down in a single pass, and those can operate as low as one to three PSI differential. Basically, we provide very low water loss solutions, and they all run at the lowest, lowest energy levels, in other words, the lowest pressure losses of any equipment in the industry. Jim came through the Center for Irrigation Technology just because of his background in the space and obviously his network is, is pretty vast, so it's not surprising to see him uh, end up there. During that time period, we were assessing potential companies that'd be a fit for the Valley Ventures program. And Jim, with uh, Epiphany being a fairly new venture, we thought would be a good fit. Every company that comes through the West Center, they all show promise. And that's why we typically, every company we work with, that's what we look for in the beginning. What makes all the difference in the world is their ability to grow sales and as a secondary function, raise money if that's necessary. Uh, we, any company that's growing or has a, a vision to change or bring value to the water, energy, and ag industry, we're there to support. Jim is no uh, stranger to that concept. He's come in here. Um, we welcome him with open arms and we're here to support him and uh, grow his company to be a success, not only for the industry, but also for the Central Valley as well. Well, we're trying to gain traction in, in the irrigation. You know, it's, it's an industry that's, that's very uh, reluctant to change in some respects, but, you know, water is, is always the issue, and we offer significant water savings and different approaches to design that will also save energy so that we can improve the productivity of the grower.